How to make a breakthrough in dramatic setup time reduction? Hi, my name is Jaroslav and I am the owner of the SMED Masters Group. Welcome to our SMED game presentation. We all certainly know what SMED is about. If we follow it consistently, it leads to significant setup time reduction. However, making a breakthrough doesn't come easy. This amazing simulation game will make you see with new eyes how to discover the true SMED way through a very effective workshop. It will integrate your team to overcome bias and achieve unimaginable results and finally will help your company become a truly lean organization. Let me present shortly how it works. Let's start from presenting the kit. The kit consists of two sets for two teams to compete during a workshop. Each suitcase contains everything necessary to conduct a full simulation. The primary objective of the game is to run a machine changeover from situation 1 to situation 2. Situation 1 represents a yellow tool on the machine and a container filled with 11 large disks. And the target situation 2 represents a blue tool on the machine and the container filled with 15 small disks. The game consists of three rounds. Each round starts with the same setting, moving from situation 1 to situation 2. In the meantime, between the rounds, teams conduct brainstorming and introduce improvements. While the aim of round 1 is to depict actual status and set the baseline for measuring improvement, round 2 and round 3 have specific goals to achieve. Each team has three members, an operator who runs changeover activities and takes responsibility for the overall changeover time, a controller who approves whether setup is done correctly and a process engineer who measures the time. Remaining team members take an active part in brainstorming session. And now let's watch a short video of running round 1. Usually. It takes from 5 to 8 minutes to complete the changeover based on actual state. This time becomes now the baseline to set the goal for next rounds. You can use a simple table below to record the time of all three rounds for each team. Round 1 is over. It's time to set the goal for round 2. We need to reduce changeover time by half. Both teams can implement now all improvements proposals that have been accepted by a facilitator. Please note that the game's instruction precisely defines which improvement suggestions can be accepted and which ones are simply a dead end. What is the usual result of round 2? In most cases, teams can reach the goal quite easy. A good question comes in this moment. Can we start to celebrate now? Well, wait a moment. As we know, SMED is widely known and available. Almost everyone makes use of it, but hardly anyone has truly done it. Why? Because many organizations stop at this stage and set the standard based on partial success. The real challenge goes far, far beyond and is still ahead of us. Having achieved first success of round 2, the goal to achieve in round 3 will sound shocking to the team. No matter how unrealistic it looks, this goal is very much achievable. In round 3, you need to get below 2 seconds. Look at the table below, how tremendous SMED gain can be. They come from real world. We encourage you to learn more about how to make SMED Workshop a fantastic training event and also make your team have lots of fun. We value much your feedback and we'd love to hear from you. It will be our pleasure to provide final solution. Thank you very much for your attention.